Hello, this is John Canalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece. I want to share with you a very interesting case. This is a 13-year-old young lady who presented uh, four months ago with very severe uh, ocular pathology. In essence, we can see here this tremendous neurovascularization within the cornea. We have two fronts here of uh, infiltrates in the cornea. We can see the significant blepharitis in that uh, right eye. Vision has dropped to best corrected uh, 20, 40 minus. Left eye is uh, more naive, uh, quiet, not significant uh, inflammation within the eye, although we can see the puffiness of the eyelids and the significant blepharitis. And uh, here uh, we can see her today. We can see the dramatic improvement of that uh, uh, right eye between the eight o'clock and the seven o'clock position. There's two just uh, slight scarring areas where the uh, very vivid uh, uh, infiltrate uh, fronts were. Um, and uh, we can see that the new acidization is gone uh, and the uh, clear limbus and cornea, peripheral cornea area. And our diagnosis, so you may have guessed it right at the time, was severe staphylococcal hypersensitivity. We can see some uh, uh, very illustrative uh, changes on the Avanti to your segment OCT by OptiView. This is the infiltrate at the time. This is four months ago. And this is here, the slight scarring. We can see how the cornea has become very quiescent, very clear. And of course, the uh, white um, uh, and black pictures that the OCT gives us. Uh, we see also uh, a dramatic improvement in the epithelium of the right eye. We're unable to obtain images back in um, March of this year, uh, where now the epithelium is almost, we want the corneal epithelium to be green, a uniform green color. We can see the area of scarring here perfectly. Remember, these are nine millimeter in diameter on the Avanti OptiView. Cornea thickness is good, but we can see the um, uh, improvement of um, how uh, normal is in her left eye today and uh, make the correlation with the right eye. Vision acuity has improved to um, 2020, uncorrected. Uh, and this is done with uh, using uh, a uh, dexamethasone uh, gentamicin combination ointment at night. And also uh, dexamethasone drops twice a day to um, reduce the uh, cornea hypersensitivity uh, to the staphylococcal antigens are presented by the eyelid and the blepharitis in this area on the cornea. And we have such a significant reaction, a flicked in you, if you may. I thought this is a very um, interesting example of how making the differentiation between, and you guessed it, herpetic uh, uh, keratitis. Um, our diagnosis was based on the fact that there's two foci here and the fact that there was no reduction in cornea sensitivity in this eye. Uh, no history of herpetic disease, and this is clearly a staph hypersensitivity case with a remarkable recovery within uh, four months. We'll continue with the lower power steroid, the loader max once a day for another two months, stop the treatment at two months from now and uh, reevaluate the patient six months time. Of course, we now know that she's hypersensitive to the uh, staphylococcal antigen and we will move uh, faster uh, for um, avoiding this in the future. We will uh, continue treatment of her blepharitis with uh, hot compresses. In Greece in the summer, most patients have the leisure of uh, using saltwater soaks with, uh, near the sea and that will help as well. Hope you found this case very interesting as we did. And uh, although uh, in pediatric age, we can see how rosacea and uh, staphylococcal uh, blepharitis can cause a significant cornea pathology that unfortunately in my career I've seen uh, reach the level of cornea perforation. So it's something we should not ignore and treat properly. Thank you so much for your attention. This is John Canalopoulos from Athens signing out.